Good morning children. Today we are going to discuss lesson 4 the IPO cycle. How does a computer work? Learning about the working system of computers, the input, process, output cycle. You already know that a computer has many parts. Do you remember them? Look at the picture below. and tell the different parts of the computer what is the name of the part yes this is a monitor what is the name of this part yes this is a cpu what is the name of this part yes this is a keyboard next what is the name of this part exactly yes this is a mouse Okay now tell me how does a computer work there are three steps the input process output cycle one simple example explain you input process and output cycle when your mother prepares a glass of banana shake for you how does she go about it step number 1 input first she puts the peeled bananas milk and sugar into the blender this is input step number 2 process next she switches on the blender the blades of the blender rotate and mix the bananas sugar and milk thoroughly this is the process step number 3 output finally a delicious banana shake comes out of the blender ready for drinking this is called output in the same way to do any work in the computer you have to follow these three steps input process output this is known as the ipo cycle i for input p for process o for output input the input consists of the data and the instructions we put into the computer next process the computer then works on the data by using the instructions the last one is output the result we get after processing is called output inputs are also called data the computer needs these data to help us in doing what we want to do the instructions already given to a computer are called programs the computer uses these programs to process the work input output devices you use the keyboard and mouse to enter data and instruction into a computer the keyboard and the mouse are input devices you can see the output on the monitor you can also take a print out on the printer the monitor and printer are output devices summary input process and output we have learned in this topic and also input output devices that is all in computer lesson today good going thank you